ladies. Someone asked me a question today and I'm just going to give a short video uh, giving the answer. The question is, if Hashem is in charge of everything and He controls everything, why do we have to daven? So the answer to that question is um, multiple uh, answers actually, but the the handful, the first few answers are A, the whole purpose for davening is in order to draw close to Hashem. So we're not doing it that we should get our wish list answered. We're not doing it that we should um, that we should um, check off everything we want in the catalog, so to speak. Um, we are davening to draw close to Hashem. But because He is in control of everything in the world, we are also asking Him for our needs, whatever it is we need at any given time, whether it is simply, um, send me some spaghetti for dinner, or, and I know that sounds silly, but we should be asking for even the little things like that, or whether it is um, major things, like we have, um, we don't have parnasa, or we have medical issues. All of those things are things that we should be asking Hashem about. So what happens when we get what seems to be a no answer? Does that mean Hashem isn't answering our prayers? Does that mean He's not hearing us? So um, it's a very, very long answer, but I'm going to try and shorten it. So Hashem doesn't change. Hashem remains the same no matter what. So when we're asking him for something, if it is for our good, he does answer us in the, in the affirmative. He gives us our requests. He grants our requests. If it is not for our good, he doesn't. So what happens if I dive in today for something and then I dive in tomorrow for the same thing and I continue davening over the course of months and ultimately he gives it to me? What happens? Does that mean that Hashem changed his mind? No, it doesn't mean Hashem changed his mind. What it means is that I have changed. When I originally started asking for whatever it was I was asking, I was not in the place spiritually where it would have been for my good. But as I davened and davened and davened and grew closer to Hashem and changed my spiritual level, I was um, in a place where the answer could be yes for me. So that's what happens. Now I'm going to stop this video here, but I know there's still a ton of questions with regard to davening. What happens to our prayers if they're not answered? How, um, how do they affect us? So stay tuned. Um, I've been inspired by this question to do another online share. So I will be um, sending out invites for that. Um, I'll let you know as soon as I have it scheduled. Take care.